Greetings everyone, I'm Timothy McSwain and welcome to Minecraft 15W33B. This is the, the newest version of 1.9 as of the time of this recording and I'm one day late again, sorry about that, but here we are with another update. This one is not as big as the first week, but it's bigger than the second week. <laughs> And uh, we're going to start off by, I'm going to mention some of the new features, then I'm going to go back and mention some of the things that I missed yet again from the first snapshot, which was uh, 13W, 15W31A. So to start, I do want to mention this, by the way, I just I just noticed, uh, if you hover over the tooltips now for your item, it says win in main hand plus 7 attack damage here. It doesn't say that for the bow, but it also says it for like the pickaxe and the shovel and the axe and whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, okay. I don't know if that was added in this episode or a previous one. I didn't notice it before. Um, one thing they did add in this episode, uh, this episode, this snapshot, is they've added some new potions. If you look down here, you can see lingering potions. Now, these are pretty cool. Um, for example, if you want to throw a, let's switch one, like a leaping potion here. You throw it, it'll leave an effect on the ground, and that effect will affect that effect will affect anyone uh, who gets in that area and it stays there for a while so you can leave it around like during a battle or if you're like one thing that I thought of was uh, if you're like bottlenecked in like a custom map or something I don't know and there's like a small passageway that mobs are coming through you can throw a potion like that and it'll damage them as they walk through which I think is pretty cool um, and since that's instant damage too that would probably uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess that if I was in uh, survival, that would continuously damage me. Oh, no, 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 I forgot that guy was still there. Okay. So if you throw that over here, I'm going to guess that. Yeah. It acts like uh, it's just going to keep damaging you when, you when you're in there, which is, I think that's really cool. A really cool use for those potions. Now, how do you make these potions? These potions are actually pretty difficult to make. I mean, you could farm the Ender Dragon now, so that's important because these new potions, I don't know if it's actually here. Yeah, there it is. Dragon's Breath is what you need to use for this. And uh, Dragon's Breath is obtained by using a glass bottle on the uh, the spot that the Ender Dragon makes in the end. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and go test that out. I have a stack of these and jump back in the end here. Uh, this is the glitched end in this one. I believe it's glitched anyway. I love that Ender Pearl's work in creative now, by the way. It's so awesome. They didn't used to do that. They didn't used to work. So now. Yeah, I can't. There's no. Where's the middle thing? Oh, there isn't one. But when the dragon goes in the middle like that... Uh, yeah, this one's glitched. It's going to be hard to show. But anyway, it'll it'll spew out like a, a damage field, a dragon's breath. And you can right-click with this bottle. And just keep right-clicking and you can fill up as many bottles as you have. Can I actually see what you're doing here, dragon? Are you like... I honestly did. I honestly do. Oh. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I put I mess up the command and it just kills everyone everywhere. Um <laughs> one thing about um I didn't mention before since we're here anyway is if you take, uh, this is temporary for the snapshots by the way, it will be changed for, didn't run said it will be changed for the final release, but if you are in the snapshots and you want to summon an ender dragon, I believe it's, it's a, it's a creeper face, I know that. Is that, no, yeah, I like that. Oh, come on. 
See, so that's not how you do it. <laughs> Neither is that. See, I have no idea. Here, let's get a creeper head. You have to get it just right, like pixel for pixel, just like the head here. One, two. Is it one, two? Oh. Does this have to touch? There you go. So you do that, and it'll res respawn the Ender Dragon. And this time, we have our end working because the end thing is set in here. It's spawned in, okay? So you can do that as many times as you want to summon a new Ender Dragon. And I don't. I, maybe it's not firing because I'm in uh, survival. Let's try that out. I mean, because I'm in creative. No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. This stuff. See, you tap on it, click on it, keep cooking, and see, I'm getting dragon's breath from it. So, ah, so since you can respawn this dragon as many times as you want with the right equipment, I don't know what it's going to be in the final version, but you can see here, you can get that stuff. It's not maybe terribly difficult if you leave your dragon alive in here. But uh, part of the problem there is that when you spawn in a new Ender Dragon, I think it closes the portal to exit. So you'll have to wait. I mean, you'll have to kill the dead. And I don't. I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of this fight. The way it works uh, with the Ender Dragon sitting in the middle like that. But oh well. If you are using are doing the fight normally, and she can actually fire at you now too. Uh, projectiles that will leave that lingering dragon breath effect on. So that's kind of why it's a lingering potion because as you see, this stuff uh, is lingering. So that's that's a, that's a good application for that, I think. I want to get back. There we go. Yeah. So I just wanted to get back here. So anyway, there's that. That Ender Dragon is so loud. I hope I remember to fix that in post-processing. Um, so now that we're back here, uh, another thing I did want to mention, this is, was added in the original uh, snapshot for 1.8, 1.9, excuse me. And I totally forgot about it. And I, and I forgot about it when I was looking over my other stuff too. If you use your uh, Diamond Shovel, or in the UK version, Diamond Spade, uh, and right click with it, you'll get this new path block, which actually, I mean, it, it's really cool. It looks like dead grass, kind of. I mean, you could use this dead grass if you wanted. You'll notice it's a little bit down from the normal uh, grass block, but when you're walking over it, there's no visual. Like, you can't, you don't actually step down the block. If I use F3 here, you can see the Y value is uh, actually does go down here. Did they fix that? Yeah, it does. it is different now. Okay, never mind. For a while it wasn't. It looks like they fixed that in this snapshot. Uh, it goes down slightly. You can see it's 63.93750. So, and the interesting thing about these blocks is that uh, mobs will not spawn on them. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's on purpose, but these are safe for mob spawns, which is really cool. So, you could cover your whole area in these if you wanted, but it does use up your shovel's durability if you're in survival, so keep that in mind. Also, it's a really cool effect. You can't really tell here because it's on the edge. You can tell kind of there. It gets darker by the edges of the block. We'll see how dark that is. And if I start adding more, it'll get lighter in the middle. So if you're making a path out of this stuff, I feel like it really looks kind of more like it's worn. I, I really like the way they did this. I feel like it's really well done. Now, if you want to change this back into a grass block, you're going to need to... Uh, Oh, grass path. All right. What I do know, I what I do know is I don't think you can get those in survival. You have to actually destroy the path and replace it with dirt or grass in order to get it back. Uh, if you are in survival and you break one of these, you're gonna get dirt. And I believe, let's see, uh, fifteen sixty durability. 
1559. Yeah, so it's the same as breaking a block. And I believe if we go and take an anvil, an anvil, come on, come on, Tim, you know where the anvils are. Oop. And we take a book, let's see, silk touch. Let's see if this actually works. I don't know if it does or not. <laughs> and actually go back into survival. Yeah, see, it still gives you dirt. So the only way to actually get that, uh, what I just got there, this grass path, is in creative. But it's still pretty cool, I think. Um, so, and, and you can't trample this, by the way, either. It's not like farmland. Last thing I want to try with this, let's do a, uh, use a hoe and kill it. Yeah. And till the soil is already down on block anyway. Now, and if you, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you trample it, you get regular dirt again. And you can take your shovel again and turn it back into... No. Okay. That's another good point. I totally forgot about this. You can't turn dirt into paths. You can only turn grass into paths. So you have to wait for the grass to grow on these again. And then you can turn it back into a path. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I believe I've covered everything, hopefully. Um, and I'll see you guys again next week for another snapshot video.